In this video, we'll cover the parts of your SUP paddle and how to put it together correctly. Your three-piece adjustable paddle comes in three different sections. You have the blade, the T-bar grip, and the shaft. The blade and the grip attach to each end of the carbon shaft to assemble the paddle. The shaft is perfectly symmetrical, so you can attach the blade on either side. Grab the lightweight carbon shaft section and open the clasp at either end. Then pick up your paddle blade, insert the end of the paddle blade into the shaft and make sure to align the pin. Press the pin down and slide the blade until it locks with a click. The pin should pop up through the hole. Now close the clasp to ensure the paddle is completely locked in. If the clasp is loose, rotate the clip to tighten it. If the clasp feels too tight to close, you can loosen it by twisting it in the opposite direction. Next, we'll attach the grip. The T-bar grip can be inserted like the paddle at the other end of the shaft. There's no pin on the grip to allow you to adjust the length of the paddle freely to suit you. As a rule of thumb, it should end about six inches or one shackle length above your head. To get a powerful grasp on the T-bar for an efficient paddle stroke, place the flat back of the handle at the base of your palm and wrap your fingers over the top of it to make a fist. You can even attach a blade to both sides to turn your sub paddle into a kayak paddle with the kayak blade accessory sold separately. To turn your SUP paddle into a kayak paddle, unfasten the clasp and remove the T-bar grip. Then insert a second paddle blade and attach it just like you did with the other blade. Now you're in kayak mode, which can be handy if you want to switch to a seated position on a long paddle or if the wind picks up. With a little practice, you'll have no trouble swapping blades on the water. Now you're ready to hit the water. Just make sure your SUP paddle graphics are facing forward when you head out to explore beyond.